Hello everybody, I am Riru, welcome back to my cosplay workshop. Today I'm going to use my James wig, which is a lovely Art of Canada lace front, to show you guys how to dye a lace front wig without getting any of the colour onto the lace. Before we begin, let me do a really quick plug to my website, akwiru.com, where you can find my cosplay books and patterns, gallery and a free tutorial archive, and my Patreon. Pledge any amount you like and automatically get any tutorials and patterns that come out of a project and access videos early. Thanks for letting me plug, enjoy the video! So first things first, what you will need is some hair gel that would dry hard. So I've gotten this black got to be glued ultra glued styling gel and also the freezing spray as well. The reason I chose these uh, is that when they dry they're kind of like a shell and what we want to do is to make a protective shell around the lace. So these are the two hair products that I've chosen. You will also need a butter knife that you will never use on food items ever again and also a bowl that you will also never use on food items ever again. And the last item you need is bobby pins. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just set aside all of my products and see what I've done to the wig fibers here first. So what I've done here is used a whole lot of bobby pins to section the hairs away from the lace front to expose all of the lace. Once you've got all your lace exposed with the bobby pins sectioning all the hair away from it, it is time to remove all of the pins and yell FREEDOM! Now that our wig head is nice and bold, we're just going to use some aluminium foil and cover the whole head with it. He was prepared for trouble, but we made it double. Once you've wrapped the alfoil all the way around the head, just make sure nothing moves around by just taping all of the seams together. I think this is pretty much ready to go, it's not moving around. So it's now time to take the wig and flip to that bitch! See how the bobby pin is keeping all the hair in order, so it's much easier to flip the wig and put the wig back onto the wig head without the hairs going everywhere. Uh, so that's why we did the bobby pins earlier. The last little detail before we go on to the next step is the side burn area of the lace. So this is the part of the lace here that overlaps and exposes itself to a little bit of the hair strands as well. So we want to just kind of separate that lace from the hair so that we don't get too much product onto the strands. So what I've done here is just got a little strip of the alfoil and just tucked it under the lace in between the hair. Like this. So once you've got that on both sides, we're ready to go on to the next step. Now that our head is all prepped and good to go, it is time to bring in our first product, which is the got to be ultra glued styling gel and our butter knife and our ball. Squirt a generous amount of this goop into our ball and using our butter knife, just spread it really generously across the lace. Just like working it into the lace so that it soaks in through to the other side so you're not just protecting the bottom of the lace but also the top as well because that's the part where you really want to protect so it retains its skin color and gives you that scalp on your lace front wig. Goop, spread it like it's a sandwich! Ta-da! So after a lot of buttering, the first layer of hair gel is applied onto the lace. You can see in the reflection that I've really piled the product on. Better safe than sorry. Once this first layer is done, all we can do 
is leave it alone and wait for it to harden before we do another layer. Let's wait till cry. All right, checking in after about two hours of letting it rest. So I can now kind of touch the lace without my fingers getting sticky. So it's kind of touch dry now. Uh, some of the parts where I applied more gel heavily, uh, it's still like pretty wet, so the weight is not over yet. If you're doing this at home, you just gotta be really patient. Just apply the first layer and go away and do something else and just leave it until it's completely dry. Ta-da! Seven to eight hours later, it is hard! You can see that it is dark outside, so pretty much what I did was just butter the gel onto the lace and left it, went outside, went on with my day, did my chores and everything and came back to it without rushing. Have a touch around the lace and just make sure there is absolutely no bit that is still wet. And once you've confirmed that there is no wet spot still drying, you can freeze the gel in place with the freezing spray. When you're using the freezing spray, just make sure that none of it gets onto the hair that is poking out from underneath the foil because you don't want to protect the hair, you just want to protect the lace from the dye getting onto it later. And with the freezing spray, unlike the gel that we buttered on before, it takes a whole lot less time to dry. So you can either use a hairdryer to just speed up the process into like a few seconds, or you can leave it aside and let it naturally dry while you go do some chores and come back to it. And then once the freezing spray is also dry, just go back and apply another layer of the gel wait for that to dry again and then repeat with the freezing spray repeat this process about twice or three times just to make absolutely sure that the lace is completely protected you don't want to leave any chance for the dye to soak through to the lace and turn it into a weird color All right, a couple of days later, after three rounds of gel and freezing spray, this boy is looking all dry, hard, and crusty. Sounds really delicious, doesn't it? So it is finally time for us to remove this wig from the wig head and just witness the shell that it's formed. See how the lace is just holding its shape with just the gel and the freezing spray? That's how you know pretty much that it's ready to go. Once you've removed the wig, you can now start taking off all of the tin foil. If any of the lace is stuck on the lace, don't worry about it for now. Don't try to peel it off because you don't want to risk peeling off the gel that is on the lace as well. You just want it completely protected when we dunk it into the dye. So all we want to do is take whatever we can off the wig so all of the hairs are exposed. It is the moment of truth to actually dye the wig now. So I have the wig here ready to go. I have a spare piece of lace that I've covered with the glue protection to just check whether we have done everything properly. And we've got a test piece of hair that we can test the color of the dye before dunking the whole wig in. I've got my workshop all set up to protect, you know, my pristine work benches. And I've got two tubs of water here. So the first one is just a water bath, plain water. And the second one I'm going to fill with a kettle of hot water and add the dye in. First we're going to do a test piece on both the hair and also the lace.
Huzzah! That is all the testing we needed to do before doing the real thing. The lace protection method using the hair gel worked perfectly, there was no colour stained on there at all. And I figured out to achieve the colour I want with my James wig, I need to dunk the wig hair into this dye bath for about 10 seconds and then wash it off immediately. So, moment of truth now, let's dye our wig. Gonna put some gloves for the real run. First we want to make sure that our wig is nice and damp so we're not just dunking our wig dry straight into the dye bath. You could dampen your wig either by spritzing it with a water bottle and then combing the water through or you could dunk it really quickly into the water bath and then drying it off really quickly. Um, if you are doing it with the water bath, just be really careful not to dampen the lace too much because as soon as the lace gets wet, it will get soft and the hair gel will start to come off. So the more you wet this lace, the less protection it's going to get when we dunk it into the dye bath. Once your wig is nice and damp, it is time to just dunk it into our dye bath. Here we go. Don't be afraid. Just put it all in and keep it in there for about 10 seconds like we've experimented 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right now let's pull it out and wash it off Ta-da, there is the wig all dyed. You can immediately see the difference between the shade of the original wig fiber and the dyed wig fiber. Uh, so all I have to do now is just wash out this wig and clean all of the shit off the lace and our process is all done. Yay! Yes! Look at that color! And none of it gone to the lace, so you can go ahead and blend that lace to your scalp like you would any other lace front wig. And that's it, that's the tutorial. I hope you found it really helpful this time. This episode was brought to you by your amazing support on Patreon and Twitch with special thanks to Jonathan, Chad, Sylvia, Senery, Anna, Just Believe Cosplay, April, Mary Dignan and Natalie. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay crafty.